you let me straight to the fall i'm broken i'm so trying skin and bone welcome back everybody today we are reacting to chris hansen once again one of his episodes from his new series takedown with chris hansen the predator today we have is good deed dave i can already tell what his excuse is gonna be but this one looks good, so hopefully it is. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and let's get into it. I'm in Genesee County, Michigan, where Sheriff Chris Swanson and his ghost team are as dedicated and diligent about capturing child predators as I am. And today is no different. On a sunny St. Patrick's Day, here comes 54-year-old David Wagner pulling into our driveway in his Audi SUV. While the look of the Irish is all around today, David is not going to get his pot of gold. Man, all the St. Patrick's Day references we're getting so far, I really hope this guy comes out dressed in a leprechaun costume. That would be amazing, just gets out of his old, he would say. They felt the need to point out his car, huh? Let's just imagine he gets out with his leprechaun costume on. Top of the morning to you. His mug shot would have like the fake orange beard on, that would be... Oh god, okay, let's just keep going. I wish I could afford something like that. Wagner thinks he's been chatting with a 15-year-old girl. A decoy posing as the girl greets him at the door of our sting house. So your neighbors? Yeah. He worriedly asks about the neighbor. What's that? They're not gonna be nothing. So before we get started, I'm gonna run upstairs and grab my vape. And I'll come back down and also I'm gonna grab my And before David can make himself at home. Hey, I walk in. Please take your hands out of your pockets. <sighs> that nervous laugh makes me think he knows who I am. This guy is so nervous. He got the laugh, looking around, asking about the neighbors. Thank God Chris came in, because I'm sure this guy was about to just book it out that door. Maybe it's just me, but I kind of got the feeling like this dude was going to probably leave. I mean, he would get arrested right away. They have the cops ready just in case they book it out that door, but still. And why does the decoy keep wearing a blanket, by the way? I noticed that recently, I thought it was just like for the one guy, but she's wearing a blanket too. What the fuck? Can someone explain that to me? David tells me he's just a concerned good Samaritan checking in on a wayward teen. So what's your plan today? Uh, talk to her about her life. Talk to her about her life. Yeah, about getting it right. Getting it right. Yeah. Are you a therapist or a counselor? Uh, no, no. You were just going to take it upon yourself to talk to the girl. Yeah, to find out where what happened with her parents and you know how she, why she's going so wrong. She, you were concerned. Yeah, yeah. What made you so concerned? Uh, I have a couple daughters. I I am willing to put money on that it's nothing the girl says that's gonna make him concerned. I get it. I'd be concerned too if some girl online is trying to meet adults. But I wouldn't go to a freaking house. You could have texted her that if you were that concerned. The dude already had a bad response initially being like, Well, I'm trying to, you know, give her life advice, you know, counsel her. Well, are you a therapist or counselor? Well, no. And looking back on it, he did lean towards the door a little bit when Chris came out. I think he was about to book it. Uh, I have a couple daughters. I hate to see this happen to young girls, especially young girls. You have a couple of daughters? Yeah. That's right. David has daughters of his own. And how old are your daughters? Uh, a little older. A little older. Yeah, 30. And where did you meet this girl? What girl? The girl who's here today. How did you come oh, in contact with uh, her? No, he was asking, where did he meet the leprechauns? Of course to go here today. Oh, I'm so concerned. You know, I have daughters myself. How old are they? 30. But they were young ones. Which now, if I'm one of their childhood friends, I'll be concerned. Knowing that he's a fucking creep. God damn, that would be so weird looking back on that. It must be weird for the daughters as well, even if they're in their 30s now. Because I don't care what any of you guys say about this. If you're willing to look at children this way. I get it's a totally different thing, but there's a chance he could have looked at his kids that way. I'm not saying this guy did that to his kids. That would be wrong and a bad accusation to make. I'm saying people like that, if they're already willing to break that kind of moral boundary, 
Who is to say they won't break more? Uh, on a website. Which website? Uh, and what was your purpose of going on games? What were you trying to do? Uh, you know, somebody else told me about it and said that there's young girls that are getting in trouble and just have no interest in, you know, living their life straight. And so you took it upon yourself to go on and find a troubled girl, well, not an underage girl, uh, who was willing to have sex. 19. No, she said 15. Oh, okay now, buddy. You were trying to say, like, I'm here to save children, but now it's she's 19. If this is a regular dating site now, why would you need us, you know, help her? Unless it's not a normal dating site and that's kind of why the bleeping it out. 19, I heard the, the phone call, so you can cut the crap right now. Well, I'm 15, but the ad says 19. David sticks to his story that the girl he thought he was coming to see is 19, even though the decoy indicates in the chat and over the phone that she is 15. I, I know a lot more about this than you think I know. Well, so I'm you assuming might have everything's it. recorded and you saw the text and everything. It, it, but the ad said 19, I'm assuming well, that's, 19. Well, that's how and I asked get on that app. Oh, I asked for ID also. Well, how, what sort of ID did you ask for? Uh, I think I just said ID. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, Do you uh, have your phone? phone yeah. yeah, go ahead. He even pulls out his phone to show me that he asked for an ID. What he really asked for was a picture. You asked for a picture? You asked where her parents were. First and foremost, why did we need the narration if, if Chris was just about to say the same thing that he said in the narration? Second of all, you literally just said yourself, I assume you were there. I assume you have all the phone calls and you know recordings and the messages. But I didn't say this. But if he was there, which he is also saying, yeah, I was there, then he knows that literally on the phone calls he said, 15, I lied on the ad. Which then makes you stupid for trying to lie about it. In the chat, David gets right to the point. Hey, are you available now? Location for in-call? In the world of online hookups, HH can stand for hang out and hook up, or hot and horny. I'm 15 and don't want any trouble. I'm low key. Ad says 19. I had to say that to post ad. Then David says, Give me a call so we can hook up. By the way, I'm a cop, so you have to give it to me for free. He then does ask for ID. The decoy says no. He then asks for a pic and tells her he's on his way. Okay, so he does ask for the ID, but then also asks for the picture. Either this guy's bad at covering his tracks or he is stupid. So far, at least it doesn't look like he was looking for the child. Though he probably was. I mean, all these people know how these websites work, what they ask for, the ads being lies. So I don't know if he was looking for a child, but he definitely, that's what he ended up coming for and ended up agreeing to find. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, I don't know, he said this. They do this shit to cover their tracks. And I mean, come on, that creepy line about, I'm a police officer, so you gotta give it to me for free. As soon as he said he was underage, trying to leverage her, Okay, me from the future post-editing this. His story doesn't make sense because why is he looking and talking to a 19-year-old when he said he was here trying to save the day and looking for children to come, you know, save and shit. So him being adamant that, oh, she was 19, she was 19, shouldn't even matter because he's looking for someone to save. Dave Wagner? Yeah. And Dave, how old are you? Uh, 54. 54. And how old did you tell the girl you were during the chat? Uh, we didn't talk about my age. You didn't talk about your age. Did you send any pictures to her? I did not. But she sent pictures to you. An ID. I just said ID. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, she, yeah, she, she, she didn't send you a picture showing you that she was 19. No, I asked for it. Uh, I asked you for asked for a picture. You did ask for a picture. Uh, oh, I asked for a picture of her, yeah. Yeah. Now you remember the picture. I get now what Chris was trying to ask earlier. He was trying to lead him in that he asked for the picture. Okay. I love how he was so hesitant to say his own age. He knew he did something wrong here. He barely wanted to say he was 54. He knew it would make it way worse for him. And why did you ask for a picture of her, Dave? Uh, to prove she was real, I guess. To prove she was real. Yeah. 
And why not just... Well, yes, yeah, 19. Your story doesn't make a lot of sense, Dave. Your story sounds like a guy trying to have sex with a I can see underage that. girl. I can see that. You can understand where yeah. I'm coming from? Oh, yeah, yeah. And what do you think would have happened, Dave, here today, if I wasn't here and it was just you and this underage girl? What do you think would have happened? Well, okay, so first of all, I would have asked for an ID. You would ask for an ID? When I was coming in, she... You would have asked for the ID that she said she didn't have? So how would that even have worked? She only said no, which you responded to by saying, okay, I have a selfie, which you asked for to see if she was good looking, to see if she was real, but she already said she wasn't 19, so you were seeing if a 15 year old looked good, and you were seeing if she was real enough to go and try to meet her. Which I'm assuming you didn't want the ID for the age. You wanted it to see if she was real. To see if this was a sting operation. Are there condoms I, in I, your vehicle? I, no, I did not plan on having sex. You, you just were going to come over here and tell the girl she was going down a bad path. Yeah, yeah. Try to talk her out of it. You, Find you, out where her parents were. So she, let, she, let me get this straight. You got on... Mm -hmm. Which is a site dedicated to quick hookups, right? That's what I, it is. I guess. I, 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 guess. I don't know what it's dedicated to. So what made you decide that on St. Patrick's Day 2022, Dave, you were going to just go on for the first time? Come on, he was just looking to save the day. Even though that doesn't make sense anymore because why would he ask for a selfie? If he was just looking to save the day, why would he ask for her weights if he was just here to save the day? If that's the story he's still going on because he has switched it up now twice at least. Just go on for the first time. I didn't say that. Oh, so you've been on the site before? I didn't say that. Well, what are you saying? Help me out. I was going to talk to someone. Alright, but why are you on to look for troubled girls. Good deed, Dave says he's just looking to help troubled girls. Yeah, but he literally did just say that he, he was going on there for the first time, right? Maybe I'm delusional here, but I'm pretty sure he said he was going on there for the first time ever because his friend told him there was troubled people on here and he was coming to save the day. Good deed, Dave says he's just looking to help troubled girls. But he's the one who's in trouble today. It's to look for troubled yeah, girls. Because somebody else had told me about this and how it works and uh, just a horrible way to throw a life away. Right. And so Savior Dave is going to come over here and help this girl we'll try, out. Try. Try. If she was 19 and I was going to ask for ID. But to she talk, told you to she was 15. She told you that. The ad said 19. I, I, Kids get I, I on know. these apps because they have to say they're 19, but once they're on them, many times they're underage. That's how this works. She told you she was 15. You know what one of my issues with his story is? If he was coming here to save the day, I know I kind of said this earlier, I'm pretty sure. Why does he only want to save 19-year-old girls? Because if he was actually here to save the day, wouldn't he want to save children too from doing all these hookups and stuff like that? Steal them down a better path? Why do you care about the 19 year old's parents? I get it, you know, they still can listen to their parents, but she's kind of an adult now. Wouldn't the parents matter a little bit more on, you know, if they were here or not? If they were underage? That just doesn't make sense for his story. If he was trying to save the day, he should try to save everyone. Many social media sites require users to say they're 18 or older. And some like David use that as an excuse to say they thought the girls were of age. But we know the decoy made it clear she was 15. What do you think your daughters are going to think about this? Oh, don't you fucking start crying now. Get the fuck out of here. And see, that's exactly what I was saying. Me and Chris are on the same page here. Let's watch this grown man cry. And your wife, are you married? What's your wife going to say about that? Had you discussed this plan to go on no. and save young women? So this was in the works for how long? I've talked to a couple different girls. A couple different girls. And have you visited any of those other girls? Have you set up dates with those other girls? Have they sent you sexually suggestive pictures? 
people will go people will go through your phone so they're going to find out the answers to all these questions if you don't share them with me now my question here is not about what he's doing with the other people why are you worried about your wife if you were just here to save the day why are you so upset that they're gonna find out why wouldn't you tell your wife that you were coming to save the day with all these people which of course you weren't obviously going to do so why should i believe you why should you believe that i wasn't here to have sex yes uh, so the first thing is i i am i i i can't you what i cannot you cannot what have sex and i don't mean to pry or yeah, get it personal just, it doesn't but you talked about sex oh my god he barely wanted to say it, but he's literally using that as an excuse that he can't, you know, as his hand suggested, get it up. I hope he doesn't think he's being recorded, because if he was willing to say that on camera, the dude is an extra idiot. He's willing just to humiliate himself, just in the hopes of grasping at straws to get away. Well, Dave, there's something you need to know, and that's I'm Chris Hansen. And we do stories on men oh, trying geez. to meet <laughs> underage people online. Okay. Is there, no, you have to, you can't leave just yeah. yet. David gets up to leave and walks right into the arms of Genesee County Sheriff's deputies. We know you're coming here to meet a 15-year-old, all right? Just, just, let, just let me talk for a minute, all right? You watch the news? Yeah. You hear about the prostitutes in front of the town this one? No. And they found their bodies like a year ago? No. Yeah. Are you involved with that? Look no, here. no, no. Okay. No. That's what, that's what we're looking for if we did that. Oh, no. Are there phone numbers going to be on your phone? No. Oh, you, you, no, I, listen, I'll, listen. I'll open my Very phone. Yeah, no, no, okay, listen, no. Listen, you're not the guy we're looking for. Then. All right? You made a bad mistake. It works, and David is cooperative. David Wagner was charged with child abusive commercial activity, accosting children for immoral purposes and communicating with another via the internet to commit a crime. He pleaded guilty on all counts and was sentenced to 60 months of probation and must register as a sex offender for the next 25 years. He pleads guilty. He doesn't try. He so did what he was trying to do. I so hope though they found whoever they were looking for. My god, that's awful. Maybe I can look it up to try to find it to see if they caught the person. Man, everyone gotta stay safe out there. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. I got more ideas and more videos to watch. So I'm gonna get on that. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And make sure to have a good night, everyone. I'm done with hitting your wall. Sure notice, I just gotta let you know. You let me straight to the fall. I'm broken, I'm still trying skin and bones.